Hello everyone, let me just get that fixed. Uh, I'm going to be picking Down Under Monkey's Resistor. This comes from a Union of Euro. Skeletonized key. Comes with the Creators brand. That's the Down Under Monkey. I'll pick it with top of the keyway tension. It's a bit floppy. It'll do. I'll go counterclockwise and I'll use a somewhat steep hook. We'll use this. So I hit one and we're immediately into a false set. Get a nice click out of two. Counter rotation on three. We lose our false set, so I go back to one. Hit four. Maybe that was five actually. I get some movement with four there. Deep false set. Three. Lost the false set. Hit one again. Two. Three doesn't want. Four doesn't want. And we're open. Well, that was much quicker than I thought. Uh, this is an older Down Under Monkey lock, so it doesn't have any of his new technology, which is all crazy, crazy alien tech. Sorry, I'll get this set and in, into focus. There we go. Let's keep that there. Here is the lock. We have the keys, so I'm not too fussed about putting that like that. I'll grab my tweezers. Seat clip removers. Baby, this is the one. These aren't exactly delicate to the C clip, but normally they don't need to delicate. Hmm. I'd love if this would. Hmm. Do I have a screwdriver? I don't particularly want to stab myself, but it might be one of the only options. So we'll see. Ah, oh, well that was easy. <laughs> right, let's get rid of this skeletonization. We have a pretty good bidding here. Let's see if we can't get that into focus. Low lift on one. Got some nice variants from two till five. So we'll put it in, do this. As with all challenge locks, I'm scared, so I will Gut with a shim. Come on. Yep. I didn't feel anything too spooky inside, but it's always good to. And because I have turned the key 90 degrees this way, I'll do this. As expected, 5 pin lock. Pin 1 is serrated, pin 2 serrated, pin 3 serrated, pin 4 serrated with a bit of spooling, pin 5 serrated. If we look at the core here, we have slight chamfering. Oh, I assume that this is just based off of the stock uh, union lock. Uh, I'll grab a pick and check. No milling on this side or this side. So let's check what's up top. So apparently, this was down under Monkey's second challenge lock. So we'll have to see what's inside. I'll bring this close, I'll move the vice out of the way, and I'll bring this here. Uh, let's see if I can't 
do some fancy movements with my new holder. Let's get that stuck and we'll see. This is the back. Let's go from the front. So the first pin is a spool, as expected, felt that all the way. It kind of looks like a dumbbell. I should probably spill out the spring first. Spring one is a coppery spring. Looks like a standard Lockwood one. Maybe not. It's a bit longer then. Pin two that comes out is another spooly boy. Again, looks a bit like a dumbbell. This spring is different. Pin three. Comes out is another sort of dumbbellish looking spool. This spring is different again. And we'll go from the back now. As we check in here, five is a little boy, it's a bit tapered. Uh, on this end. Let me orient these correctly. And we'll check in on this spring. It's different. I've accidentally let out pin four in the meantime. That is a serrated boy. And its spring that comes out is a little coppery one. Um, nothing anything else let's take a close-up of these pins we'll zoom in a bit there we go so we can see i'll bring all of these up we can see here in one we have a of dumbbellish spool. Keeping is serrated. Nice deep serrations. Driver two is another sort of spool. Yeah, uh, curved off edges. I would assume that those curved um, tips, if we'll focus here, these probably make it a little easier to pick with the chamfers in the core. Here we see a super deep serration underneath a pretty normal serration. Uh, here again, another one of these spools. And another one here, we've got a serration and almost spooling underneath it. Deep overset trap. Here we have a serrated pin. Lots of serrations. Lots and lots. It's a very nice looking pin. Definitely the reason why I had to keep going back to one, because it would drop every time I set to one of those uh, spooling bits in the serrations. Here again we have serration here and then such a deep sort of graduation there that I would say that's spooling. And here we have a little tapered pin. And with that there is a serrated key pin. So that was down under Monkey's resistor made on the 10th of April 2020. Number two. Uh, since Down Under Monkey has gone on to make many many other challenge locks and they've only gotten better. Thanks for watching.